All right, sweetie, we gotta get this turned on, okay? Electricity would help. Well, you know, I make mistakes. Yep, even Dad is making mistakes, don't we? Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is basically working on this wall behind me. Right where these, the rafters come into the side wall here on that plate there. We had a guy come out, a family friend, and just kind of messed up part of it. And so uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think I showed a little bit on another video, but it's something that has to get fixed. This house is kind of unique. The first part was built by my great grandfather in 1890 something. He bought the land in 1898 from the railroad. Anyway, I'm gonna show you real quick here what the roof looks like because the roof on this house is definitely not normal. So when my great grandfather came here, he built a little lean-to. And then when they came and brought the whole house family here, they built a little center part of the house. So it looked like that. And then my grandpa added on another one like this. And then added on this way a lot. So he added a bunch of it see <laughs> a bunch of it like so so that's the original house and that's how it looked even when my dad was a little kid he grew up here it looked like that now we would always call that the witch's hat as a kid looked like a witch's hat the pitch on this part of the roof right here was not much and so they were always running into problems with water so my grandfather in the 70s added a second roof that goes right over the top of this one and so there is basically goes like that on both sides so when you go outside today you see this roof here even though there's a second roof underneath it with shingles and everything else okay hopefully <laughs> that worked uh, for the explanation of that I'm sure that that was you know less than ideal uh, my drawing isn't that great. As you would know if you watched Roots and Refuge's Pictionary, whatever it was, game that we played with the Hollers, my drawings were impossible to, to figure out. But anyway, so that witch's hat roof is this one right here. So there's another roof on top of it. You can see this was just notched out. This two by four was notched out a little bit and then this sat on top of here and then the old roof sits on top of there and it all worked for oh this was done in the early this was done I think in the early 50s this this part of the house so it's been here for 70 years this has been fine I know it's not ideal to have this notch quite like this but it it's fine it's been here for forever okay so when this new wall got put in, this all got put in the right place. This is the work, I'm pretty sure this is the work that I had done, okay? So this wall here, that was me. Me. Here's the problem though. Some more work was done to basically extend the two by six wall that I had put here and extend it all the way down this wall. When this was done, well, I'll show you. You can see here that this plate here was literally just set on top of the plate I created. This plate here was at the same height as the original. This got put on top of it. And this, all the way down, 
just got cut off. I don't like what I think I'm gonna have to do, but I do think it's probably the only way to actually accomplish what needs to be done. Man, my hair is crazy. This is why I don't do long hair. You see how swirly it gets? I have really curly hair. It gets swirly. Sarah's gonna be over here in a minute and I'm going to explain to her what I think the solution is. Well, what I'm thinking is cut this off here and go down to basically to extend level, to this head. level, jack all this up. So literally lift the wall up so it's back level, okay? Okay. And then come back into about right here, splice these rafters. I'll look into the code. I think you can use like three quarter inch plywood to splice these. Okay. And just splice a new piece on that goes down on top of here. On top of the, what will be the, the new, new top plate. Yep. Okay. That's just cut like out that. just like that, except it's a brand new piece and it just gets spliced on. Gotcha. Yeah, I think this is a pain in the butt, but it's our closest pain in the butt. We'll see what the minimum length is for this, because what we could do is shorter sections, which would make it much easier to come in and just do this one little piece at a time. What do you think? I think that looks like it could work. It makes oh, sense. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That it would work. Let's go home. We'll be done here for tonight. I'm gonna go look up in the code book, see what is code. We'll yeah. draw it all out and we'll show everybody what we're thinking of doing on paper. Yeah. Does that yeah. sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go do it. Okay. All right.